Crossings is a tool that we use to understand Christianity. It's a lens, a way of understanding life. A really dynamic, vibrant community it began as typewritten pages being handed around a university. All of my imperfections being smart for generosity. It's become such a way of life for me. It really is good, and it is something new. The law stands for all that God demands of humankind, and it's not merely the Ten Commandments, it's not even the Ten Commandments plus the rest of the stuff that's in the Bible. Uh, it's the whole range of things that God demands where God asks of us, and it includes that we trust God, that we love God, that we love each other, uh, that, we, uh, um, that we depend on God in every way, and we fail at that, and so the, the longer we fail at it and the more we try to justify that it's okay that we have failed at it, and the more we try to, to prove our lives uh, righteous in our own eyes, the more we become estranged from God and from each other, and and it's just a bottomless pit of uh, uh, something not unlike uh, addiction. You you begin to deny that you have a problem, and you and you uh, insist that you can fix this yourself, and uh, the law. The law drives you, in a way, finally to despair because uh, unless you continue to believe that you can get away with all this, uh, and sooner or later things begin to happen in your life that shows you uh, it's not going to work, you're broken. If nothing else, you die. The breakthrough that Martin Luther is said to have had, which I, which I believe uh, after uh, learning about his life, was that um, Luther discovered in the scriptures that basically God speaks in two ways. God does this demanding that we live lives as a Scandinavian uh, theologian whose name I can't remember at the moment once said, God demands that we be the kind of people that don't need the law to demand that we be that kind of people. We're supposed to be uh, people who can uh, love God and love each other without rules, um, but, uh, but we just can't do it. And then God speaks in another way, which is the way of promise uh, and, and good news. Uh, God forgives, God uh, accepts us, uh, by f our faith in the crucified Christ as the one who uh, came among us and said, you can't join me on my side of this divide, so I'm joining you on your side. Well, the power of crossings is the, the ability to see how your life actually does connect to this long ancient and rich tradition of, uh, of seeing ourselves as first of all estranged from God but then befriended by God and uh, uh, it, the, the power is simply to be able to understand yourself, understand your world, understand uh, the, the part you play in messing up the world, but also the power that you have connected to the body of Christ uh, to be the, an agent of the redemption of the world and, a, and, a, and someone whom the Holy Spirit can use to ameliorate the situations that you keep causing every day that you're never gonna stop, but you, you, you have a way to dress the wounds that you keep causing.